To make big change, you need big impact. The type of impact that stretches from coast to coast. For the last 30 years, the CTN has played a central role in driving Canada's HIV research efforts by uniting researchers to develop treatments, preventions, and a cure for HIV and related health conditions. Despite tremendous advances in treatment, HIV AIDS remains one of the greatest global infectious disease threats. There are 36.9 million people currently living with HIV and an estimated 1.1 million deaths worldwide each year. Today, thanks in part to research in Canada, HIV can be a chronic, manageable condition. You'll find CTN investigators in every province, conducting research that revolutionizes the way the world cares. Our national network links these brilliant minds to share knowledge and create a larger impact. HIV has no borders, and neither do we. At the CTN, we are no longer focused on just treating HIV. We are looking at how to be healthy with HIV. We are looking at overlapping clinical areas like hepatitis C, other sexually transmitted blood-drawn infections, and chronic acute comorbidities, including mental health and neurological conditions. We are now answering questions like, what does aging with HIV look like? How do we remove the barriers to seeking HIV care? How do we adapt programs to fit with the community's specific needs and the local context? Over the last 30 years, the questions we've been asking have evolved, but the answers we need remain the same. How do we improve the health of people living with and at risk of HIV? And ultimately, how do we eradicate this virus? And this implies more testing. And obviously, COVID-19 testing fits within the landscape of HIV and hepatitis C testing services. Since 1990, CTN has been an integral part in the Canadian effort to improve the care and lives of people living with HIV. CTN's goal is to generate knowledge on the prevention, treatment, and management of HIV, hepatitis C, and other sexually transmitted and bloodborne infections, and develop a cure for HIV. That goal cannot be achieved without the voices of our community. In 1993, the CTN formed a groundbreaking community advisory committee that set a precedent for other community groups to empower patients. Research was listening to the voices of those taking part, and the CTN created a platform for those voices to be heard. The Community Advisory Committee provides a critical review of research projects from the perspective of people living with HIV and other community stakeholders. We aim to ensure that trials are fair, ethical, and relevant to people living with HIV. Since the first meeting of, in the spring of 1993, CAC has helped guide and shape the work of the CTN by reviewing protocols and representing community. When reviewing a potential study, we ask each committee member, would you participate in this trial? The answers provide investigators with a kind of litmus test for the acceptance of the proposed study in the general community. The early inclusion of community set the CTN apart and has served as a model for community participation in many other health research organizations. Today, the CTN Advisory Committee has reviewed over 300 trials and continues to play an active role in the conduct of clinical research in HIV and related co-infections in Canada. The early inclusion of community set the CTN apart and has served as a model for community participation in many other health research organizations. Today, the CTN Community Advisory Committee has reviewed over 300 trials and continues to play an active role in the conduct of clinical research in HIV and related co-infections in Canada. The CTN has had many milestone moments over the last 30 years. While our Community Advisory Committee was forming in 1993, that year also marked the beginning of the MAC trial led by Dr. Stephen Shafrin of Edmonton which contributed to advances in the treatment of Mycobacterium avium complex, a then common and deadly opportunistic infection associated with AIDS. 1993 also marked the beginning of the highly active antiretroviral therapy trials, known as HART, 
led by Dr. Julio Montaner of Vancouver and other network investigators. This trial was among the first to demonstrate the efficacy of protease inhibitors in combination with two or three other anti-HIV drugs, ushering in the age of highly active antiretroviral therapy. Findings from the heart-based trials were shared at the 1996 International Conference on AIDS in Vancouver, heralding a new age in the treatment of HIV. The conference and the CTN welcomed over 15,000 advocates, researchers, healthcare workers, and people living with HIV AIDS to listen to presentations and share ideas. On January 1st, 2000, the CTN started the new millennium with a major new trial. CTN 167 Optima was an international collaboration set out to find the best therapy for people living with HIV infection who had at least two failed conventional heart regimens. Optima showed there are no safety concerns with an antiretroviral drug-free period. In 2002, the engines that drive the CTN were developed. Known as the cores, these teams ensure studies are implemented while still topical and are equipped to provide a forum for dynamic discussion of research ideas and the rapid movement of research initiatives into clinical trials. Together, the CTN's cores function as a catalyst of scientific activity. In 2004, CTN investigator Dr. Jonathan Angel announced the launch of a pilot study of a promising therapeutic HIV vaccine, one of many projects developed in collaboration with the Canadian Network for Vaccines and Immunotherapies Research, a federally funded network of excellence. In June 2007, Dr. Marina Klein established CTN-222, the Canadian co-infection cohort to examine why liver disease progresses more rapidly in people co-infected with HIV and hepatitis C, despite the use of highly active antiretroviral therapy. October 20th, 2010. Following two years of dialogue and work, the CTN and the Canadian Aboriginal AIDS Network signed a memorandum of understanding. This marked a formal commitment of respect and collaboration and the beginning of a partnership that lasts to this day. Launched at CAR in 2011, CHIWOS has been investigating the lived experiences, health outcomes, and care delivery of women living with HIV in Canada. Women represent one of the most important demographics affected by HIV, yet research focusing specifically on the health of women with HIV is limited. To address the need for more knowledge, CTN investigator Dr. Mona Lutfi initiated this pan-Canadian national research collaboration, the largest ever community-based research endeavor focused on this topic. June 1st, 2013. CTN 268 Ipergay trial launches in collaboration with ANRS, with CTN investigator Dr. Cécile Tremblay as the Canadian lead highlighting that on-demand PrEP is effective in reducing the incidence of HIV infection in men who have sex with men. Also in 2017, CTN investigator Dr. Winston Husbands launched CTN-297, Black Praise, evaluating an intervention to reduce HIV stigma among African, Caribbean, and Black church congregations in Ontario. The study is based on previous research that examined the development of HIV-related stigma among these communities in Toronto and identified the need for faith leaders to help address it. December 1, 2017. After already releasing new Canadian guidelines for the management and treatment of HIV-HCV co-infection in adults, the Canadian guidelines on PrEP and PEP were published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal. The development of these treatment guidelines was a group effort, as CTN Knowledge users Katie and Ken provided critical feedback and dissemination of the materials, along with the Canadian Medical Association and the Canadian Association of Nurses in AIDS Care. The impact of this collaborative work was felt on a national level, as the guidelines helped inform government policy to support programs in several Canadian provinces. February 21st, 2018. CTN's Trans Working Group submitted their first grant proposal to develop and deliver healthcare workshops for providers of HIV care to trans women. 
2019, Dr. Sharon Walmsley's Change HIV study begins. Today, the average age of a person living with HIV in Canada is over 50 years and projected to rise above 65 in the next decade. In a prime example of moving with the times, this study aims to improve our knowledge of the complexities of HIV and aging with a focus on the understanding of physical, mental, cognitive, and social aspects of health and how they interact to affect well-being. June 2019, the CTN received an investment of $22.85 million for HIV AIDS research from the Canadian government through the CIHR, marking 30 years of uninterrupted funding. This announcement was made at the CTN National Centre, located at St. Paul's Hospital in Vancouver, BC. A fitting home for the CTN, given that St. Paul's Hospital was one of the first in Canada to treat patients with HIV AIDS, and the residency program was the first in Canada to give physicians the opportunity to learn about treating this complex disease. And Ottawa is putting several million dollars into HIV AIDS research in BC. Vancouver MP Hetty Fry today announcing just under $23 million for research and support. The money will continue the work of the Canadian HIV Trials Network, which supports researchers, people living with HIV, their caregivers, and health advocates. And as part of the Canadian Trial Network, Dr. Murray is going to be the principal investigator on a clinical trial that's investigating whether women and girls living with HIV have an increased risk of hormonal, metabolic, and reproductive abnormality and this correlate, whether this correlates to aging at a cellular level. At the CTN's National Centre, we take a good idea and help make it even better. Our team of dedicated National Centre support staff provide their expertise to facilitate the highest standard in HIV clinical trials. The Centre facilitates and supports research across Canada by centralizing administrative, methodological, and management services, including our postdoctoral fellowship program, which is a large part of the legacy that the CTN is building for Canada. Alors, le programme de bourse postdoctorale du réseau a débuté en 1992. À ce jour, il a permis de verser plus de 163 bourses postdoctorales et assurer la formation d'une élite de jeunes scientifiques canadiens dans le domaine de la recherche clinique afin de faire une différence pour les personnes touchées par le VIH vivant ici ou ailleurs dans le monde. Des boursiers postdoctoraux internationaux du réseau ont mené des travaux dans des pays tels que l'Ouganda, l'Afrique du Sud, le Lesotho, le Cameroun, la Zambie et la Chine. Certains de nos boursiers postdoctoraux sont devenus des leaders en recherche clinique sur le VIH et plusieurs sont revenus au réseau comme investigateurs. En fait, j'appartiens à la toute première cohorte de boursiers postdoctoraux du réseau. C'était il y a déjà 26 ans et aujourd'hui, je suis fier d'être à la tête de l'une de ces équipes de recherche spécialisées. The strength of a network is the strength of its connections and the CTN has a history of strong ties to groups doing important work in the HIV research space as we join forces to amplify our research and our voices. The CTN works with the national and international community-based partners, policymakers, healthcare providers, pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies, as well as international academic research networks. But the most important partners in this journey are the study participants who help make this work possible. We can't advance our knowledge without these crucial partners giving their time and efforts. To everyone who's ever participated in a clinical trial with the CTN or anywhere else, thank you. Thank you for helping our world get one step closer to better treatments, better care, and better health. The CTN is ready to continue responding to the threat. Driven by a common goal, the collaborative scientific network we've created over the past three decades has the resources to conduct in a cost-effective manner research to address the changing realities of the HIV epidemic. 
our goal to rapidly advance the knowledge we need to have an impact on the health of Canadians and beyond. Over the last 30 years, the CTN has reviewed over 300 studies with over 20,000 participants, and our numbers and our knowledge will continue to grow as we support the present and the future of HIV research in Canada. Join us at hivnet.ubc.ca.